Mac OS Big Sur Beta 11.0.1. Wow, have I had an amazing day, a challenging day, and I'll tell you what happened. So I've been running Mac OS Big Sur Beta since the beginning, and it's been very smooth. There were a few small glitches, nothing major. They've been worked through, and I've been very happy with, with Big Sur, actually. Honestly, I love it. Until today, when I updated to Mac OS Big Sur 11.0.1, the newest release released by Apple on October 28th. So everything was going smooth during the installation until at one point the progress bar, that little white bar that runs across the bottom of the screen, stopped progressing. The screen went black. The computer went silent. I heard a slight hum from the fan inside my MacBook Pro, so I knew things were still moving around and it was hopefully working towards resolution. What eventually happened, good news, is the login screen showed up, so I was very happy about that. And what I was not happy about is when I typed in my password, it no longer worked. So that was a bit a bit frightening, because I definitely know my password. I haven't changed it in way too long. Should change it more often. So in any case, it didn't work. I tried and tried. So eventually I decided, well, I'll go ahead and reset my password so I went ahead and through my MacBook Pro, of course, there's an option if you forget your password, which I didn't, but you can reset it using your Apple ID, which I did, and that was successfully completed. I received a text message verification, made it through the process, my password was reset, and guess what? It still didn't work. Wow. So at that point, I needed to reach out to our friends at Apple, contacted them by phone, had a very helpful representative, had to put me on hold a few times, of course, because this is a brand new beta release and no information on it yet. So it turns out that they had some ideas. The idea was rather than updating the password through my Apple account, let's update the password on the local device. So I did the shut down the computer, held down command R on reboot, and then released it once the Apple shows up. That brought me into the kind of restore options. And from the restore options, click on utilities, and, and from utilities, terminal, and then type in simply reset password. Very simple. That gave me the option to reset my password, which I did, completed successfully, restarted the computer. At that point, I lost Apple. Unfortunately, the call, no more, no more sound. I couldn't hear them. I talked, and so eventually, after about 10 minutes, had to terminate the call. They didn't call back. So restarted the MacBook Pro, and that password still didn't work. So now is when the crisis began. Then I realized, uh uh-oh, what to do? So I tried everything that you can imagine. I restarted it several more times. I tried restarting the password several more times. Now, it's important to note that when inside the command R options, my password works fine because when you change your password and you validate yourself, well, once you've done that, in order to go through different options, such as if you'd like to try to reinstall the software, you must type in your password. And that was one of the things I decided to try. Let's reinstall Mac OS Big Sur. So I tried that, it asked for your password. My password worked fine, which proves the password was working and I didn't have caps lock or number lock or whatever else. So my password is fine. I tried reinstalling Big Sur like five times. It failed every time. So that, that wasn't working out either. So I eventually was able to reconnect with Apple because nothing worked. And I thought, well, the good news, I have a time machine backup, right? That should be good for peace of mind. So in talking to Apple, again, talked to another representative, I was able to call and reach them. Long time on hold, of course. Well, they said it's a widespread issue. So I would caution you, if you're thinking about going with the beta to macOS Big Sur, I don't think now is the right moment to do it. If you're a current beta user, maybe wait a little bit. If you're not on beta yet and you're thinking about it, I would wait till the next release past 11.0.1 or just to make sure that's not happening because they did say it's a widespread issue. It hasn't happened to everyone, but it has happened to many. Don't know how many that is. Well, in my case, it happened. So then they were guiding me on the path to use Time Machine. However, this is the problem. The problem is they had no way to get me back on the beta version that I was on before going to 11.0.1. Can't do that. The only beta version that I could go on is the one that wasn't letting me log into my MacBook Pro. Okay, so, and this is a a very new MacBook Pro, by the way. So basically, bottom line is the only option they had is to put me right back on the same version of Mac OS Big Sur Beta 11.0.1, which doesn't let me log in, 
or go back to Catalina. The problem in going back to Catalina, Catalina cannot read the time machine backup from Big Sur, which means if I go back to Catalina, I'm looking at backup six weeks old, which would be a nightmare to find the missing files. And sometimes it's a lot harder to find what's missing than just to start from a clean slate and, and hopefully restore your backup somehow. But it would be good to have a partial backup. How would I really know what was missing over the last six weeks? So bottom line, if you have a problem with Mac OS Big Sur and in, in beta and you have to go back to Time Machine, keep in mind that you're probably going to be stuck with your last backup on Catalina, which is which is a bit disastrous. So that certainly wasn't an option for me. Um, and the only other option really was to wait until Mac OS Big Sur goes public, hopefully in a month. And at that point, most likely, no promises, the time machine backup of Mac OS Big Sur would work. That's a long wait, an unknown wait, and who knows if that would work. So I talked to Apple. They ended up escalating me to another senior technician. He said he's very sorry. They don't support beta. Really nothing I can do. I did try on another MacBook Pro that I have, an older one, to read Time Machine using using Catalina to read the Mac OS Big Sur beta Time Machine backup. It wasn't able to. So there's no way to restore using Catalina from a Mac OS Big Sur backup. So that doesn't work either. So I had to take it in my own hands. I tried everything you could imagine, multiple password resets. None of that worked. Everything Apple told me didn't work. Eventually, essentially, they had to give up and say, well, you're going to have to go back to Catalina, lose your data, or wait until Big Sur goes public. So I kept trying to reinstall from the command R menu prompt, reinstall Mac OS Big Sur. I, I must have done it 10 plus times. And it would always fail about 30, 40 minutes in, about 30, 40% in. It would fail and fail and fail to download. Well, finally, I got lucky and it completed the Mac OS Big Sur reinstallation. And now I'm back in Mac OS Big Sur and I have beta 11.0.1. I'm not going to change it for a while. If you already have Big Sur beta, I would keep it for now. If you're on Catalina, I would wait a bit. Let's get through this glitch and go from there. It was an adventure. As you see behind me, Stranger Things backdrop. For those of you that know the show, you may recognize this. For those of you that don't, you may think that I am surrounded by madness and chaos, which perhaps I am. Please take a moment to click subscribe, the bell, and all for notifications, and like if you found this helpful. Mac OS Big Sur Beta 11.0.1. Oh, five hours. Stress. I'm glad I made it. It was close. I almost lost my data. Luckily, I have it. Just remember, just remember, if you use beta and if it crashes and blows up and doesn't work, you've got to go all the way back to the prior operating system and you lose everything since then. Wow, that's very, very, very undesirable. There's thousands of files I would, I would lose in that case. Glad it worked out. Hope it does for you. Be cautious with this update. Wish you the best. Goodbye.